Hey Puds, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Honey, today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video um, on some drugstore makeup that I bought. Um, a lot of these items aren't new. A lot of them aren't new at all. They're new to me. I was in CVS, minding my business, honey, and I figured, you know what? Well, let me get me some wine and buy some drugstore makeup. And yeah, so I bought a few items. So as the video goes on, I'll show you what I used and bought. First thing first is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. My friend Destiny loves this primer. Um, she swears by it, so I went ahead, went ahead and got this one. I believe the price was $9.99 plus I had a coupon I think it was $5 off of $30 or $10 off of $30 something like that so I went in so I already put this on my skin um, I can already tell you it feels really nice it doesn't feel like much of anything um, my skin feels nice and soft um, another foundation Another foundation I bought at the drugstore, I actually bought two. I bought the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and I bought the Maybelline um, 24 Hour, the ink one. Um, when they first released this, I didn't, they didn't have a proper shade for me, so, but they do now, and my shade is 370. But I am more intrigued about this Milani one because I had never tried anything complexion from Milani ever. So I'm gonna go in and use this. I did get the darkest shade and the color is it's toffee something. Golden toffee is this color. So this is supposed to be a two-in-one foundation plus concealer and a medium to full coverage, lightweight or free, long wear, water resistant, and sweat sweat proof. If you may have already used this foundation, let me know if you like this foundation down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And we'll see what it looks like. foundation on the finish is nice I believe um, you can definitely build it up to a full coverage as you can see I did the color is nice and warm it's not a 100% match um, it's a drugstore foundation so I don't expect a lot from drugstore foundation as far as matches you know what I mean but there are foundations that match me really good from the drugstore um, Covergirl Matte Maid, Maybelline 368 Deep Golden. Those match me fairly well. Um, this is the darkest color in this formula. Um, so, yeah. But it, it's pretty good. So, um, it's set on my skin really nice. It has a scent to it, which is actually pretty pleasant. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind that at all. Um, another drugstore item that I picked up was the NYX can't stop one stop um, concealer I did review the foundation I will leave that link down below um, I bought an original shade weeks ago in the color cappuccino which is a nice mid light type of highlighter if you want a natural highlighter but I went ahead and got a lighter one and this color is called mahogany so I'm going to apply this and see what it does um, um, I'm assuming it's matte because the NYX can't stop one stop foundation is matte like it is matte I either mix it with a dewy foundation because it's too matte for me so I'm expecting this to be very matte as well but we are going to see okay honey okay Thank you. 
Okay, I really love this concealer. It's full coverage, honey. It's real blendable. I like it. Uh, I can definitely see me using it a lot. I will leave a link to my highlighter and contour foundation routine below. In case you're new to my channel and you've never seen it. Um, I did buy a, a drugstore setting powder. I bought the Ruby Kisses HD setting powder. I believe I tried a powder from theirs before. Um, but I can't remember. It's a nice yellow powder. Um, so I'm, I'm getting ready to um, set it. And I'll let you know what I think about it. So I went ahead, uh, I went ahead and did my brows off camera. I used the MAC Strut Brow Pencil. Um, let me know what drugstore brow products you like. I've used the um, LA Girl Skinny Girl Brow, I believe. But let me know what drugstore brow products you like down below. Um, the powder is sitting pretty good. I used the NYX Can't Want Stop um, Concealer as a eye base. I bought this really pretty palette from Rimmel. It's a Magnify Eye Spice Edition. It's a nice, pretty, warm palette. Um, I love a good warm palette. I never use these little brushes that it comes with. But um, really pretty warm palette. We're going to see what color payoff um, it has. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a nice um, warm eye and we'll see what I come up with. So I went ahead and did my bottom eyeliner and mascara off camera. I wanted to keep this look very open and like, psh, whatever, however you spell that. <laughs> um, so I just did a bottom liner and I smudged it out a little bit. This palette is really nice, really cute. So I used this rustic orange color in the crease, this brown color in the outer third of my eye, and I used these two um, to do the lid. Now I'm just going to do my inner tear duct color. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and do it right now. So I'm just going to do some inner tear duct color to open up the eye. Every look I do a tear duct color, it just makes the look look super open and bright. So I applied my mascara as well. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Paradise. This mascara is not new to me, I've already used it. People are saying it's a dupe to the Too Faced Born Better Than Sex. I think that's a reach. It is a really decent drugstore uh, mascara. I think it's one of the best ones out there. And L'Oreal Miss Manga, I don't think they compare. But if you are looking for a really great drugstore mascara without, you know, going to your wallet too deep, then I definitely will recommend this mascara. The brush is really nice. It's similar to Too Faced, but it's not um, a dead-on dupe. Um, the bristles don't um, expand out like the Born This Way. I keep saying Born This Way. Better than sex. But um, it's a nice mascara. Now I'm going to go ahead and con bronze using the um, Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder. I'm going to use it as a bronzer. I already did my contour off camera. And this is a mineral powder in the color Cognac. And I'm going to use it as a bronzer.
So I didn't see any new drugstore foundation that just jumped out at me. So I just went in with the NYX Cinnamon. Um, only drugstore brands that I know make good blush are Elf, uh, Milani, and NYX. But let me know what drugstore foundation blush that I should try in Black Radiant. So those are the only drugstore brands I know that make you know melanin friendly blushes. But maybe I'm missing a brand, so let me know down below. I am going to use a highlighter, though, that I got from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild All Glown Up. Um, it's a loose highlighter powder. This one was pretty pricey. I want to say it was around 10 bucks. But luckily, I had a coupon. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Um, you do get a lot of product for $10, so I can't front on that. But it's, you know... Ten dollars is pricey, I guess, for a drugstore, but um, I'm expecting good things. So let's see what it does. So that highlighter is pretty lit, as the kids say. Um, I'm very impressed. The pigment is amazing. So kudos for, to Wet n Wild for making that amazing highlighter. I definitely will be using it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with lips. I use um, just MAC Chestnut. I didn't see any new lip liners that I didn't already have. Um, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York lipstick in the color Mauve for me. This was a collab. It wasn't a collab. It was a collection where they launch universal nude lipsticks. My YouTube sister, Topsy Cole, she's from the UK, really gorgeous girl. She did a lip swatch video, and I will leave that link down below to Topsy's channel. Really beautiful woman, really amazing um, content. So the color I got was mauve. For me, I saw her wear this color, and I had to have it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Don't say no Don't say no 